Hey fly tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying the tungsten crystal midge. This is a pretty simple pattern and typically be tying this in a size 16 to 22. Today we're going to be tying it in a size 12 just so we can see it clearly. But we use the tungsten on here just to get the fly down into the strike zone, especially in some faster water. That tungsten will help it sink really quickly. This is a great fly to use on some high pressured waters and I add a UV coating to help with the durability on this one. So let's have a look at the materialists and get started. get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm using a Mustad C49S and this will be size 12 and I've already got on here a tungsten bead in silver. I believe this is a 2.5 millimeter. I'm going to be using flat wax nylon for this size of fly but for smaller sizes I recommend using a flat UTC thread um, either in the 140 or the 70 denier. So we'll just start by wrapping some thread on just behind the bead. And we just want to keep in mind as we're wrapping, we're going to be building up a bit of a taper here. So first we're going to add a little bit of oval tinsel in silver. This is the extra small uni French. We'll just take off a small length and we'll tie that in up in behind the bead. And then we'll wrap that down along the hook shank down to the bend of the hook. And so for the larger denier of thread, this just helps build up the body a little bit quicker. You can definitely use a smaller size on there, but you can see as we wrap thread, we get a bit of a twist in the thread. So every once in a while, you want to just give that a counterclockwise spin just to get out the twist. And that thread will lay nice and flat. So we'll just kind of work on the taper there. You just want to have a slight taper towards the head of the fly. And then when you're satisfied with that, we'll go ahead and we'll put a half hitch right behind the bead. And then we'll start wrapping our tinsel here. So we just want to have evenly spaced ribs. If you wanted to use a silver wire, that's pretty good as well. I just like this small uni tinsel. The oval tinsel works really nicely. So you just want to make sure you tie that off on both sides. Clip it. And if you wanted to go ahead and whip finish this right here, you have a great little zebra midge. But we're going to add a few more materials on this just to make it our tungsten crystal midge. I'm just going to put a little bit of bone dry over the body here just to make sure it uh, adds a little bit durability. Just uh, after you get a fish or two, the thread tends to fray. So you don't need to use the UV resin, but if you have a coat of head cement on there, that'll help with the durability, durability of the fly as well. So we got that set. Now we're gonna take a piece of crystal flash and just gonna take one strand of that in the pearl and we're going to start by doubling that over. And then we're just going to cut it in the middle. So we have two pieces. And then we're going to do that again. We're going to double it over, cut it in half. So we end up with four pieces. And then we're going to tie that onto the top of the hook shank here. We just want to make sure that we don't go too far down the bend of the hook. We just want a small thorax there. And then we're going to fold that back. So essentially we have eight little pieces of pearl crystal flash coming off the back for the wings. And we'll cut that about halfway the length of the body. So one last thing we need. I'm just going to add a small thorax. So we're going to take a little bit of black ice dubbing. 
and we'll just dub that onto our thread there and we'll just give that a couple wraps don't need a ton just a couple wraps is more than enough and then we're just gonna add a couple half hitches just this is a bit of a thicker thread if you've got the 70 denier UTC then you can probably put a whip finish in there and then we're just gonna finish that off with a little bit of bone dry UV just put a little bit on the top of the knot there just so we don't come unraveled we'll hit that with the UV light and then we're good to go and that is your Tungsten Crystal Midge. Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by and watching my fly tying video. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to get notified on the latest fly patterns, tips, and reviews. If you enjoyed the video, take a second and hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them below in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for your support of the channel, and until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.